One of the biggest concerns surrounding the coronavirus is how quickly researchers can develop a vaccine. A San Diego company is one of eight already conducting clinical trials. As 10 News reporter Matt Boone reports, there's work being done to distribute any vaccine as soon as it's ready. According to a list compiled by the World Health Organization, there are eight vaccines currently in clinical trials around the world. More than 90 others are also in development. The speed of scientific development against this virus has been just completely extraordinary. Professor Shane Crotty runs an infectious disease lab at the La Jolla Institute for Immunology, which has been studying the body's immune response to the virus. COVID-19 is a good candidate disease for vaccine development. From what I've seen of immune responses of people so far, I think there's reason to be optimistic that people make good immune responses uh, to this virus. Dr. Anthony Fauci had originally suggested a 12 to 18 month window before one was ready, putting it in early 2021. This week, President Donald Trump announced a new program called Operation Warp Speed to try and have one by December. I'm not over promise. I don't know who said it, but whatever the maximum is, whatever you can humanly do, we're going to have. While there are some parts of the testing that cannot be sped up, one of the tactics would be to manufacture many of the vaccines at a large scale before testing is complete, so the ones that work could be deployed immediately. Under normal circumstances, there's no way you'd go ahead and produce, uh, manufacture, you know, some vaccine that, that, that maybe had a 10% chance of actually working, right? Uh, obviously, 2020, uh, these aren't normal times. San Diego-based Inovio is one of the eight companies already in clinical trials. They expect results by this summer before moving to phase two. A vaccine developed by Oxford University is also being tested and has been secured by a major manufacturer. We need not one vaccine to be successful. We need lots of vaccines to be successful. Matt Boone, 10 News.